Hello, YouTube land, and welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I am your host, Alex Payne, and today we're doing a WWE SmackDown review. We kicked off the show with us being announced saying that there's going to be a Fatal 4-Way tonight. Apollo Crews, Sheamus, Alberto Del Rio, and Cesaro to determine the number one contender for Rusev's United States Championship. All four men had an opportunity to say things before SmackDown started. SmackDown started, and it kicked off the show. This match went on for a while. Everybody was going back and forth. You know, at one point, Cesaro was doing the uppercut to everybody uh, and whatnot. And I believe Sheamus even broke kicked, if I'm not mistaken, because I went like this and look, looked away and looked back and then... It looked like he broke kicked <clears throat> Apollo Crews. One, two, I think someone broke it up. And it was just going back and forth. N not a bad match. It was not like, you know, <laughs> shit the bed style type of match. But pretty much what happened was Cesaro got, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Burrow Del Rio into Sharpshooter. He tapped out. Cesaro became a normal contender. Alberto got mad and attacked Cesaro from behind. And pushed him into the steps, which hurt, I guess, Cesaro's shoulder. And then Rusev came out before the commercial break, and he's like, Oh, if you're a real man, you will challenge me now for United States Championship. I do not want to wait until later. I know it's a bad accent, but I'm sorry. If I was a, you know, impersonator person, I would probably be on TV right now. Do you see my pretty face? It's my pretty face. Pretty face. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Moving on. So, we go to commercial break. We come back. And then, pretty much, uh, Rusev called Cesaro a coward. So then he's like, you know what? F you, pretty much. Let's do this. So they got in the match. The, uh, the Rusev was beating the crap out of Cesaro. Cesaro was beating the crap out of Rusev. He did his uppercuts. He did everything. He tried to go for his neutralizer. Could not do it because his shoulder was hurting. Then, Rusev tried to go for his accolade. No, reversed. <clears throat> and then, um... <clears throat> Cesaro went for the sharpshooter. Rusev reversed that. Tried the accolade again. And then, Rusev got ruled up. One, two, really close three to become the United States Champion. This close. He kicked out. He did, um... Uh, uh, I guess he's, like... Uh, uh, Dumb Kung Fu before? And he did like, Ta-da! Kicked him in the side of Henry. And Cesaro's all like, Bam! Hits the... Here's what I don't like about this. Before I get to the way the... Well, the way the match ended, I didn't like. Uh, at one point, legit, Cesaro got thrown up. You know how he throws people and does the, the uppercut? Well, Rusev did the same thing, but he kicked him. Or kneed him right in the gut. I thought that was pretty sweet. The way the match ended, the accolade got put on. Rusev! Crush! Yeah, I know. So then he put him in the accolade, and right away, right, like when he reached back once, Cesaro, Cesaro's like, very quickly. <sighs> and right now, they're talking to Rusev backstage and talking about how this Monday is July 4th. And now it's United, you know, Independence Day. They should shoot the names off, shoot fireworks off in the name of Rusev. He is the greatest United States champion of all the times! He's defending his championship Monday against Titus O'Neill. Oh, Lana just said, Rusev! Crush! Oh, you don't get none of this. You don't crush. No, no crush in the ring, no puta in the bed. You got me, Rusev? <laughs> oh, God, I kill myself sometimes. So, let's see what happens now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. And for some reason, my camera made my face look like I have sunburn. Lovely. Ha <laughs> ha! Ow! 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 I'm kidding. I'm fine. It was Dana Brooke versus Billy Kay. 
I guess the girl from NXT. Uh, Dana dominated this match almost all the way through. They let Billy Kay come back with like a hurricanrana, a couple moves, a discus punch to the face, a big boot, and then uh, they showed Dana Brooke, not well, Sasha Banks in the back watching, and uh, and pretty much they're talking to. Well, Dana Brooke pretty much hit this move. I guess it's like a Samoan, like you know, it's like the Michinuku driver, but it's like a Samoan drop driver. And she beat Billy K. One, two, three. And now she's pretty much saying that she wants to shot at the women's championship and whatnot. So there we go. Let's see what else happens later tonight. And we're supposed to get Dean Ambrose on Miss TV. This is gonna be interesting. Up next, Dean Ambrose on Miss TV, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion on Miss TV, and. For the Dana, not Dana Brock, keep messing that up. Sasha Banks got interrupted by Summer Rae. And she's pretty much saying everybody's sick of her little boss gimmick. She's all flash, but no substance, pretty much. And she's like, oh, the, hopefully when the brand split happens, you stay on SmackDown and I go to Raw, pretty much, or whatever. And she's like, okay, let me show you tonight. She's like, the, the draft is in three weeks. Let me show you why I'm called the boss. So it's gonna be Summer Rae versus the boss, Sasha Banks. Well, the Ambrose, I almost said Asylum. The man's was out there talking about his new movie, Marine 5 Homefront. And I'm drunk. Um. And whatnot. So then he was like, welcome my guest. And then Dean Ambrose came out. And then he, you know, interrupted. He had a sandwich. He's like, man, I've been, like I said, I've been super crazy. You know, I, I can't even, I didn't have dinner yet. So he's just eating a sandwich and whatnot. They go back and forth exchanging things. You know, he's like, Dean's like, well, I have a triple threat match in a couple weeks and whatnot. Uh, against D against uh, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Seth, yeah, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. And the Miz is like, I am the great, uh, greatest Intercontinental Champion. And uh, even you holding that WWE Championship makes me and everybody else sick that you're holding that belt. And then he's all like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He picks up Miz. He's like, well, I know where this is going. So he puts like a sandwich down, his belt down. <laughs> Dean had mustard right here under his chin. And then he just grabs Miz's like uh, designer coat that's pink. And I think it's like a pinkish white. Oh, my nose itchy, sorry. Excuse me. Um, and, uh, then he just goes, Ha ah. ha. He wipes his mouth with it, and then Mary's like, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a designer thing. Throws the jacket over Dean's face, and he just big boots and walks away, and Dean's all like, Whatever. Sandwich. Hump. Ha ah, ha. Ah. Oh, my mouth. Uh, uh, uh. And then they showed that Sasha Banks will face off against Summer Rae. Ah, oh, my ears are sorry. Ugh, everything's itchy today, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. There we go. Let's see what else happens later on tonight. I wonder if the, I want, you, know, you know how cool that would be if, like, the women's match would actually be the main event? That'd be pretty cool. I'd like that. I wouldn't have no problem with that. It'd be like Lita versus Trish Stratus for the women's championship. That'd be cool. Ha! And we're back. The Wyatt family came out and did a tag team match against two noobs. Destroyed them with no problem. Pump on the slam. Braun Strowman tagged in, flipped the guy over the top, other guy over the top rope. Uh, backward choke slam on the guy that looks like Tatanka's son. One, two, three. Bray grabbed the mic. It went dark. Uh, <laughs> the New Day did another joke thing. Fear. And then pretty much, you know. Kofi Kingston's like, fear. What do you fear, Bray? Soap? Big old booties? booty <laughs> I'm sorry, that's great. The New Day is funny. And then Bray, Bray White's like, <laughs> you funny. He's like, why don't you tell them, Xavier? Why aren't you laughing? Tell them what you already know. Tell them the devil is coming. 
tell them to pray and run. And now the main event is going to be Dean Ambrose, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, versus the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, Champ versus Champ match. Not for no, not for the titles. I just do that if two champs face off, Champ versus Champ. And then up next is Sasha Banks versus Summer Rae. Pretty much we're at a commercial break. Uh, Sasha Banks and Summer Rae just started. They had Sasha Banks dominate a little bit. They went on today outside of the on the apron. She tried Summer Rae tried for a suplex. <clears throat> Sasha reversed it and then she just like let go, kicked her, and then Sasha went into the uh, still post back and head smacked off and she's on the ground. So let's see what happens now. I still say that Sasha Banks is gonna win. So pretty much, we came back from a commercial break, and <clears throat> Sasha Banks was getting dominated by Summer for a while. Then they were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She tried for her double knees, missed. Uh, then <clears throat> Summer did a kick to the head, and then there we go. She went down. Uh, she got back in the ring, reversed it, did the double knees, bank statement. Summer tapped out. Winner. Next match, main event. The WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose versus the Intercontinental Champion, The Jizz. Alright, we're in our main event where it is Dean Ambrose, the WWE Champion, versus the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz with Maurice. Pretty much, Dean Ambrose dominated from the beginning and whatnot, and then Miz got a couple moves in. He Dean went for his like diving elbow. He reversed it into a skull crushing finale. Tried to get the skull crushing finale. Dean reversed that. He then Dean tried to go for dirty deeds. Then Miz reversed that. And then he went to the outside and he knocked um, the Miz on his butt. And then Maurice distracted him. That didn't work. And then he got knocked out again. And then he tried to Irish whip him into. Dean Ambrose tried to Irish whip the Miz into the barricade, but he reversed it and threw Dean in there, and now we're on a commercial break. I still think Dean Ambrose is going to win this match. We came back from the commercial break, and Miz was working on Dean's leg. That's locking the figure four. He tried it for the first time. Dean reverses. Miz tries again, gets it in. Dean gets out of the move, the figure four. They go back and forth with different moves, reversing, whatever. Dean goes for his lariat, you know, that when he goes, he gets hit, and he goes, came back with the clothesline, ducks underneath, his skull crushing finale. One, two, Dean kicks out. Miz does a couple moves, she does the corner clothesline, gets up top to go for a double axe handle. Right in midair, Dean just catches him, kicks him, dirty deeds. One, two, three, Dean Ambrose wins the match. There we go. I told you all he was going to win. So... There's my WWE Raw or SmackDown reactions. Just ended. So like normal, leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button. Later.